Welcome back. Uh, right now we're looking at Microsoft Publisher. Now we use Publisher a lot to do uh, desktop publishing, which is exactly what it's made for, um, because it's, it comes with our package, our contract for um, Microsoft's Office. So it's a great tool, really handy to use. Uh, right now we're looking at the basic page setup. It's going to be a little bit about the interface and how this works. So let's just walk you through the interface. So I'm on the first page, blank template. So what I've got here is I've got my file tab on my ribbon bar, I've got a home, an insert, a page design, mailings review, and view tabs. Now, those let us change our ribbon up a little bit. The home button works exactly, or really for the most part, exactly like the Microsoft Word that most of us are familiar with. So over here I've noticed I've got my font or my typeface control, I've got my paragraph control here. Now the styles button's a little different, in fact since I don't have any text here if I click on it, it makes me either import or make a new style. Once I have text, I will actually have, when I pull that down, different styles that are preset styles to work with or styles I can modify. Um, I have to draw a text box to type. Now that's one of those things, like if I take my cursor over here and click, I have no um, text box to work with. So I actually have to draw a text box before I can type anything. Same with pictures, I gotta drop them in. Now it'll let you when you pull up your pictures. You can either pull it from a file you've got, which I suggest you do, or you can do a search on Bing. Now, if you're doing a search on Bing, Make sure you have the rights to use the picture if this thing's going to be a public. If it's just for you, you know, I'm not going to harp on you about that kind of things, but I would make sure it's public domain or you own the rights. Make sure no matter what, you give credit to where credit's due. Now, other things that are going to be up here, you know, we got tables we can pull in, uh, shapes just like in Word. So we can create pretty much everything we want there. Now, if I go to my Insert tab, Insert has some different things on it. I can insert a page. So instead of a page break, I'm actually inserting a whole page. Um, catalog pages, we'll show you those later. Uh, again, tables, pictures, online shapes, etc. Now, there's pre-made page parts. Now, these are the things like those pull-out quote docs, you see, or quote bubbles and things you see in magazines and newspapers. So you can drop those in, they're pre-made for you. You can tweak the style, the colors, etc. Colors, or excuse me, calendars, the borders, that kind of stuff's all in here. Again, you can draw a text box, you can put business information in, and you can actually link that back to other documents things like that. So that pretty much is normal. So you can put headers, footers, okay, no headaches there. Now if I go over here to page design, that let, gives me a few more things to work with. I can mess with fonts over here. I can mess with my color scheme. I can mess with my margins and my page template. I can even or change my page orientation and sizes. That's great. Like if I want to do a whole di different thing, like I'm making a smaller book that's going to go to a publisher, I want to format my stuff here that's going to be a size appropriate to what I'm working with. So I'm designing true size so I don't end up with any funny formatting issues. Um, guides and things like I'll usually, you can take your guides in and out and take your um, rulers in and out, but I always leave them on. Um, I really find them very, very handy to use. Um, mailings, that's mail merge, email merge, that kind of stuff. I usually don't use this as much for our stuff. We'll get to it another time. The reviews, that's where you get your spell checker, your research, your thesaurus, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, there's the view tab. Now, the view tab is one we do use quite a bit to control how we see our document. Now, if you're working normal on a single page, which is what you're used to in like Word, that's fine. But if you're doing like desktop publishing for like a magazine or a, I don't know what, you, s you quite often want to have a two page spread. So that is a two page spread. That's like you see in normal magazines. This is the front page and I flipped it over. I'd have two pages right behind it. So if I tell that to be a two page spread, and then I go back in here to insert and I drop in two pages. So see what I've got here? I've got my first page and then here. So page one or cover, inside left, inside right, inside next left, next right. And notice, okay, your even pages are always on the left. Your odd pages are always on the right. That's the way this works out. And this is the area we call the gutter. These are your page margins out here, so if you take anything off it, it'll bleed when it prints on the ink, that kind of thing. So get familiar with it, play around in it, have some fun.